Hello, uh, this is Jay from Mountains for Everybody. Welcome to my channel. In this video, you have my comparison between Osprey Unlimited Anti-Gravity and Osprey Unlimited Airscape packs. You have them here in the picture. So the Anti-Gravity pack, pack is on the left and the Airscape is on the right. I have a series of texts about these packs so you can follow them. Uh, there are links below the video. I shall start with the features that I that are more or less the same or similar. So you have rain, rain cover, you have a transport sack in both series, you have an external hydration sleeve so you can get easily to your uh, hydration bladder, and the uh, suspension is completely adjustable in both series. You have fit on the fly for the uh, torso length and the fit on the fly also for the hip belt, uh, the, uh, hip belt adjustment. And both packs come with a uh, first ever 3D printed lumbar uh, support, uh, but there are differences here uh, in principle. Uh, th these packs have a state of the art fabrics and they are gender specifics specific packs so you have uh, for men and women separately and in both cases you have two sub sizes then the same is compression divider for sleeping bag storage and the number of pockets you also have what they call auto lift design instead of classic load lifters and um, as far as i know the price is uh, the same or similar so let me now say a few words about it differences and features where they pack really these packs really differ from each other so i give plus for the airscape regarding lead day pack and access on the other hand for the anti-gravity packs i give plus for ventilation and for the volume to weight ratio so when you see this you have three out of five for the airscape packs and two out of five for anti-gravity packs. Now let me say why I give these pluses and minuses. So regarding the lead, in the case of Osprey uh, Unlimited Airscape packs, you have a classic floating type lead. And uh, in the case of the uh, anti-gravity packs, you have some uh, something that is like a separate compartment which is removable. The day pack, uh, you in the case of airscape packs, the lead transforms into this beautifully designed day lead day pack. In the case of the anti-gravity pack, you have uh, the the top compartment which can be used as a lumbar pack, which is also nicely designed with a port for the water pipe. Regarding the axis, both series have an inverted U-shaped uh, axis on the front, but in the anti-gravity packs you have a top zippered axis, while the airscape packs have a classic collar. I prefer the, the latter because when you have such a collar and when you have a, a, a lead, you can then put some extra stuff under the lid and fix it with, uh, with it. Regarding ven ventilation, uh, the anti-gravity packs are definitely better because you have something that is similar to uh, tension trampoline style mesh, but it is completely unique uh, to Osprey and uh, there is definitely nothing better. In the case of the Osprey Airscape packs, design is uh, such that the packs remains closer to the body, so ventilation is definitely better in the previous pack, in the anti-gravity packs. Regarding the volume to weight ratio, these are really heavy packs, and I have a separate text where I describe why this is so. But when you compare these two, you have the volume to weight ratio around 26 liters for the anti-gravity packs and only 23.5 liters for the airscape packs. So 
this is why the anti-gravity is better. This is what I wanted to say about the similarities and the differences. So let me know if you think I have missed to say something and please follow the links below the video to my full texts. Thank you for watching.